，没有大规模的设备，没有高大上的酒窖。也没有我们想象中那些任何华丽的东西。一对澳洲夫妇凭着满腔的热情，带着一把修枝剪，开启了他们在澳洲的葡萄园庄园之旅。欢迎收看 ABC 留学移民生活频道，我是 Daisy。今天 Daisy 来到了位于维多利亚省北边的 h e a t h c o u r t 区的一个小众的葡萄酒庄园 Domain Asmara， 来看看。一个崇尚纯手工酿造的葡萄酒庄园是什么样子的？好，现在我们来到了 Domain Asmara 酒庄，坐在我身边的是 Gravik 夫妇 Andreas 和 Henny。Okay, so me Andreas.、Um, actually, my background is that I come from Germany and、uh, I graduated in Germany as a chemical engineer. But、uh, having said that, actually my my love and passion is really for winemaking. That's why we immigrated to Australia about 12 years ago, and we purchased this vineyard here in this beautiful wine region. And、uh, so we start our own business here, and now we also make our own wine here. So it's just the two of us, basically family owned. Andreas, 原是一名满世界跑的化学工程师，在印尼遇到了他的妻子 Henny。为了完成心中一个酒庄梦，十一年前买下了一个位于维多利亚州北边 h i s k e r 区的小酒庄，取名 Domain Asmara。So the vineyard itself is quite small by international standards, so it's about 80 acres. And our varieties that we have, it's mainly Shiraz, which is very famous here. But we also have Cabernet Sauvignon.、Uh, we have some Cabernet Franc, which we use for blending. And we have got a variety called Durif, which is very popular for people that enjoy full-bodied,、uh, full-flavored wines.、Mm -hmm. And we also got some white variety, which is called Viognier.、Mm -hmm. So these are mainly French varieties, and they're all grown on our own vineyard.、Mm -hmm. So all the fruit is coming from our own vineyard and made into this wine. So we're not purchasing fruit; it all comes from our own vineyard. Like, did you select the grape varieties yourself? Like, did you have to decide which ones you wanted to grow? Actually, when we bought this place, it was already planted,、oh, so the selection was done for us.、Okay. But in hindsight, I must say the selection was pretty good because,、mm -hmm. obviously, it's it's varieties that thrive very well in this climate, in this terroir, in this under these conditions. Okay. That's why you would not find、uh, cool climate varieties here, like Pinot Noir, for. Mm -hmm. So the the selection of those varieties was definitely based on on the climatic、uh, climatic conditions that、mm -hmm. we have here,、mm -hmm. or as the French call it, terroir. So climate and soil come together. As a winemaker, can you tell us, like, as in your opinion, how do you define a good wine? Well, a good wine needs to have some character, a soul.、Mm -hmm. So it's hard to describe that how how it looks like, but it has to have. First of all, when you pour the wine in the glass, it should have a certain color, a certain intensity, and then of course next it should have a good bouquet. I mean, good aromas that come out, which in my case I really like the dark fruit flavors of, for instance, plum, blueberry, dark cherry, these kind of things. And when you when you drink it, it should have a good balance、uh, between acidity, fruit. And also the concentration of it, and tannin, which comes from the oak mainly, but also from the skin. So it has to be in harmony with all the elements that's in there. 品酒入门三步骤，首先要来看一看酒的颜色和透明度，然后再来摇一摇，然后再来闻一闻，最后就来喝一口。好的葡萄酒入口非常顺滑。每天天未亮 ，Andreas 便已经起床，来到了他的葡萄园里开始工作了。在这个葡萄园里，有两万七千五百棵葡萄树，从种植、修剪、采摘、发酵、酿造到装瓶，全部都是 Andreas 和妻子两人亲力亲为。Andreas 说，他的这双手就是机器，在一年中，他会花上四个月的时间来修剪他的葡萄树。What you see here, these are dripper lines, but we Use only very little irrigation just to keep the wines happy, but、okay. not to produce a big crop. This is Shiraz. Okay. And in winter, all these, what you call these canes here, 
Each of them has to be cut back and thinned out by hand. So it is all done by hand, these hands. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then now we, what we see here now is a nice fruit. Uh, it's just gone through color change, what we call the raisin. Mm -hmm. So you see some of them have already changed the color. Yep. Uh, some of them are just about doing it. Okay. So in another week or so, they will mm -hmm. all look like this. Okay. And if you would taste the fruit now, mm -hmm. you're welcome to have a little taste. Yeah, sure. Um, they are already, you can already eat them, but they're still four weeks away from being ripe. Not Maybe it, six weeks. It is not bad. No, yeah. It's okay, it's, good, it's not good. bad, yeah. Mm. But if you come back in a few weeks, mm. they will be absolutely delicious. Mm, wow. And compared to table fruit, mm. you can't even compare because it's so much concentration and later so much flavor in there. Mm. It's just absolutely fantastic. Mm. And you can basically then taste already all the flavors that later on will be in the wine itself. How amazing mm. that. <clears throat> Andrew, so how, how do you water your vineyards? Very good question because it's very dry here. We need water. Yeah, I can see. Uh, yes, yeah. so we have got the dripper line here. So mm -hmm. the water flows in the dripper line. Mm -hmm. And every single wine that we see here has a, has a dripper. So the water comes here, drips out here, yep. controlled the mount. Mm -hmm. And so we, we can exactly control how much water we give the wine. So normally we only give water like one time a week. Andreas注重质量，不追求产量。为了确保葡萄口味的浓度达到最佳状态，就连给葡萄胶的水量都是精细控制的。虽然效率比机器要低，但却比机器要精细和温柔许多。他细心地呵护着他的每一颗葡
sending the wine to sure. overseas. Sure, so you also exporting wines? Yes, we do export a lot yeah. to mainland China, yeah. uh, Malaysia, but okay. mainly to China. Today, I'm very thankful to Angie for taking us to his wine. We also saw a pure wine that was made by 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 a pure wine that